Bay Area has a huge problem with homelessness, with addiction. We are living in the epicenter of a community that's addicted, that's poor, and that doesn't know a way out, doesn't feel they have a way out. There's multiple reasons why people end up on the streets um, and why people become addicted from family of origin issues or just uh, mental health issues. Incarcerated, you know, coming out of prison, abusive situations, families that are split, basically lives that have been disrupted. Even though they've been addicted to whatever their substance was, I think all of us have a responsibility to look at the homeless and say, what's my part in alleviating that suffering? And there was nothing in Contra Costa County. We did all sorts of research to find what Christian services there were and there was nothing that served the poor population. So we started by getting to know some of the churches in the area that had a homeless feeding ministry that they had been doing for some time. They had been building relationships with people and those relationships had deepened to the point where their folks were ready to get recovery and they didn't know where to send them. Since our resources are so limited, we have to be very focused. We want to focus on things that are successful, uh, where we see that God is really moving and doing something, and we want to jump in and join in with something like that, and that's Restore. It was God's timing and God's plan. We opened up our first house here in Concord, and we've been in that same house since 2012, and it's still running. It's our men's recovery house, and it's been going strong. We've increased to two other houses, one for men in aftercare. So after they finish with the recovery program, they can go to this other house and uh, have the freedom to get jobs, full-time jobs, and be out in the community more. And then for our women, it's for women that have children and they're working on reunification, and it's also uh, an aftercare host where they get full-time jobs, learn how to manage their lives under a safe umbrella that helps them when things don't work out perfectly until they can figure out how to make things work well. At Restore, we're allowed to really meet that client where they're at and, and treat them as an individual. And in any situation when someone's coming into something that is new, especially when you're newly sober or newly out of jail, it's scary, and when they come in, our clients immediately feel love. They go from being a client to a resident. They come in the door as a number, and once they're inside, they become a person. And that makes a huge difference. When you can start walking alongside someone at the beginning of their journey, it changes the trajectory of that journey, changes where they land. This isn't just an addiction recovery place. This is a place where people find their way by first finding their relationship with their father. And once they get that relationship properly located, then they can begin the process of restoring themselves and all the other relationships that they have. We're trying to restore the whole person in the light of Christ. Restore's mission is to serve people who don't have the resources to go get an addiction recovery program. We are able to offer a long-term recovery program that offers sustainable, healthy living. The programs that we offer are, we do a 12-step, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous 12-step in the men's recovery home. We do Monday check-ins that are, are very important, so we stay consistent with our residents. We do a Tuesday relapse prevention, then we do Wednesday Bible study. Thursday we do anger management, and then Friday is boundaries. We also offer our Thursday night classes, and they are 
taken off. We have an amazing Bible study that we're doing. We have groups that we break off into and it's the men and women co-ed now. We also offer more than a meal homeless outreach. We get the opportunity to go serve in our community. We go out there with the intention of sharing our story, stories about Jesus and, and about how God is showing up in our lives and, and how God can change their lives as well. And in that process, they start living out the life they were meant to be. So as they do that, when people come in and volunteer and work with them, you get to live out your own purpose and meaning and direction uh, with people that are like-minded. Restore loves our volunteers. Some volunteers come in on a short-term basis. They might come with their church and do a project uh, around the houses for just a day. What is so special is when the volunteers decide to have a long-term relationship with our residents. So that would be either teaching a class, uh, just spending time with them, mentoring them. Our folks are growing so much spiritually that it just rubs off on everybody and everybody is blessed by what God is doing here. Volunteers who come to Restore oftentimes come wanting to give and many times they walk away being the receiver of that love, of that care, of that message. I love partnering with Restore because God is moving here. I love what God is doing with the people. At New Hope, our resources are limited, and we want to be very focused about where we volunteer and where we invest in the community. We want to invest where God is doing something, and that's Restore. I think expansion is not just numerical, how many people are in our program, uh, or how many meals that we might give out uh, in a week. It goes beyond that. It, it goes to what specific services do people really need you know, so that they can begin this restoration journey. God has been talking to us about growing, and so we are listening very carefully. We want to stay in alignment with Him. We need another men's aftercare house. We would like to be able to open up a dry homeless shelter that offers a safe place that gives us the opportunity to build more of those relationships where we can be sharing the love of Christ in their lives and then hopefully bringing them into the next step where they can work on sobriety and finding jobs and getting stable in their lives. Recovery requires support for the rest of your life and so we want to be part of that whole picture.